This is part two of three of my top 60 ungraded comics that I purchased in 2018. So if you want to know what they are, well, you're already here. You might as well stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Greetings and salutations, my fellow comic book collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics, and this is part two of my top 60 ungraded comic books that I purchased in 2018. I want to thank everybody so far that took the time to comment and watch my part one. If you haven't had the chance, please do, because I am doing a contest. Um, one thing I would recommend is get a piece of paper and pencil out, or a pen, doesn't matter. Magic marker does fine, even a crayon, because throughout the video, I'm going to give you a couple of hints. Now, I don't want anybody to write them in the comment section. Now, a few people did that, and those that did, um, I'll let them qualify still, but if they do it again, we got to make sure they listen to the rules. So anybody that puts the things in the com comment section right now will not qualify. But the prize is, I mean, I'm going to be giving away the rest of the posters that I have, which is between around six and ten posters, and I'm going to throw in a couple of comics, and I will mail them anywhere in the world, and of course I will pay for the shipping and handling. So you do have to be a subscriber, you do have to like the video, and um, it's going to, we'll put it this way, it's going to pay to watch the entire three-part series in its completion, because there are going to be hints that you're going to need to write down. So somewhere in this video, there will be a couple of things I'm going to tell you to write down, so you may want to pause the video and keep track of it. And then when part three comes out, um, I will give you the final rules, and the first person to get every answer correct will be the winner. And of course, if they don't respond within a week, we'll give a alternate winner. So the next video, part three, should come out roughly between either Sunday or Monday. It depends on my availability because one of my cats, Luna, is not feeling well, and I have to take her to the vet today. So anybody want to send some well wishes, we always appreciate that, but that may delay the video, and I'm sure you guys will understand that. But it, if it's nothing majorly serious, I should have the video out on Sunday. So either Sunday or Monday, so stay tuned. So let's get these. This is going to be section um, number 40 down to issue 21, so the comics are getting better. The best of the best, the big guns, cream of the crop, will be in part three. So hopefully you will stick around to see those. And of course, as always, I do give the shipping and handling and all the costs. So this way you get a general idea of what I paid and what you could possibly pay. So without further ado, let's get to comic number 40 on the list. Now this is a book I have got. I actually won four or five of these in 2018. And, of course, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 300, which is the first full appearance of Venom. It's not his first appearance, because the first one is 299, which is a cameo. But this is the one everybody wants, because it's also the 25th anniversary and an amazing Todd McFarlane cover. Uh, the last issue of his black suit. And, um, I mean, this, this has been all over the place. And, of course, look what's about to happen. Orgon always loves to kind of give himself a little cap meo as we like to call it uh but like i said this this is a book you gotta get if you don't have it it's one of those modern books that will continue to go up so get it while you can the prices are going up but i paid for this one 180 dollars. it does need a pressing so i paid about 180 to like 225 for each one so definitely uh, these books still are obtainable now they're all over the uh, ebay and the internet so if you see one that's too high of a price Pass it up. Just wait for an opportunity. Like I said, I got four of them alone this year, and I think I have a total of six or seven. I was lucky enough to get two of these the day it came out back in the day, so I paid a dollar fifty for two of them, and one of them I got signed by Todd McFarlane back around uh, mid to early 90s. Next up, number 39. This is definitely a book I would highly recommend getting. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, annual one. So it's annual number one, not issue number one. I wish it was. But this is the first appearance of the Sinister Six. Now, it's not official yet, but there have been rumors that they may be appearing in a future MCU movie. Whether that happens or not remains to be seen. 
but it's always better to take the chance when the books are cheaper because if they do make it official, you know these prices are going to double and triple because as soon as they make the announcement, there'll be plenty of people on eBay trying to sell these. So this is a lower grade book. You can see because of the white background, this book got pretty dirty. Uh, there's a split here and here. There's a little piece missing there. So this is probably a 2.0 to a 3.0 at most, but I still got a decent deal for this book. I uh, paid a total of $60 for this book. So to me, that's a steal. Obviously, you could it's going to probably cost you an average of about 120 and up for even for lower grades. But you guys know me. I always wait for a deal and pounce on it. All right. This is one of the Golden Age books. This one doesn't have anything significant in it as far as like a major character or first appearance or anything. And obviously, Orgon really likes this book. This is Comic Cal uh, Cavalcade. This is issue number three, and of course, it's got the early DC characters. You got Wonder Woman, you got Flash, you got Green Lantern, so there are definitely some good characters in this book. Uh, this was published back in 1943, and I spent a total of $129, so not bad for a Golden Age book. Absolutely love Golden Age. If you don't have any, get one. You will be hooked on them. Next up, issue number 30, well, number 37 on the list. This was a book I was trying to get for a long time. This is Green Lantern, issue number 7, which is the first appearance of uh, Sinestro. And uh, uh, this is one of the books I had as a kid that got stolen from me, unfortunately. So the one I had was in a much higher grade, and I paid probably about 5 to $8 for it at the time. Definitely paid more than that, but definitely still paid under what this is going for. Um, I passed up on many opportunities to buy this book because, like I said, it does get very expensive. So um, with shipping and handling, I paid only $94.99 for this book. Um, it does have what's called a subscription crease down the center that breaks color. A lot of people back in the days didn't buy books to collect them. They bought them to read them. So uh, either this got in the mail where they folded it in the mailbox or it could have been a kid bought it and just folded it up and put it in their back pocket. So the most a, a comic can get with that kind of subscription crease is a 5.0, but I would say this is probably a 4.0 to a 4.5 range. I don't think it would be a 5.0, but even still for that price, I cannot complain, especially for the price. All right, next up, we've got I bought two of these. I'm just going to show the lower grade one because, like I always say, deals can be found even on popular books. I've been recommending this for a long time. This is Hulk number 180, which, of course, is the first appearance of Wolverine, which is a cameo in the last panel of this book. But still, that's the first time you see Wolverine. And these days, especially with the fact that um, soon we're going to be hearing rumors about X-Men and Fantastic Four and, you know, Deadpool and especially Wolverine. It's just a matter of time before these books blow up to where even low grades are going to be unaffordable. Um, you could s These books, even a 0 0.5, go for about $250 to $300 at this point. And trust me when I say that's going to be cheap soon. So if you could find a deal, snatch it. But make sure it has the Marvel value stamp. You want to make sure, even if you see it on the auction... You want to, when you get it, open the book up and verify, because otherwise that little stamp, which is probably one inch by one inch, if it's not there, is going to cause your book to become qualified if you have it graded. So please make sure you open your book and check to make sure. Uh, as always, I make sure I tell the price. I only paid $108.50. Uh, it does have the value stamp and definitely a lower grade. This is probably a 25 to a 3.0 at most. So, but again, still for that price, that's pretty darn good. All right, number 35. This is my second copy of this book. The first one I got graded a while ago. Um, always good to find deals. And this is for the upcoming movie that's coming out, the next Spider-Man movie. This is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 13, which is the first appearance of Mysterio. Absolutely always love that cover. I love the character. Great book to have. And, um... With the movie, hopefully they'll do it justice. So far, so good when it comes to Marvel movies. You never know. But um, any of the top, probably the first 50 Amazing Spider-Man books, you really can't go wrong with. So, I mean, there's so many iconic villains, it's not even funny. 
But uh, this is a book that's probably even in lower grade, going to cost you about 150 and up. Always ask for deals if you can. I paid a total of $94.93. Um, one page has a silver dollar-sized cutout. Uh, doesn't affect the story. There is some writing inside, but even still, this is probably with that, probably about a 2.5 to 3.5 range. Still not bad for under $100. All right. Number 24, I'm sorry, number 34 on the list. I have several copies of this book. Absolutely love this. Never had it as a kid, but got it in the past year. This is Tales of Suspense, um, number 57, which is the first appearance of Hawkeye. Um, the fact that he is going to be playing a bigger role in part two of the Infinity War, a.k.a. Ronan, um, this, that's probably going to help this value of this book go up. But even with or without the movies at this point, um, this is a book to get. So, again, another expensive book, even lower grade. You're talking two, three hundred. You have a little piece missing here, a little corner piece missing there. There's some rips along here. So this has been a well-loved book. But, again, like I always say, as long as the cover presents itself, I don't really mind those things, especially for the price I paid. Uh, this I paid a total of $88. Uh, cover is barely hanging on. If I ever get it graded, I make sure that I write down, like you see here, I wrote, cover barely hanging on, please handle with care. So never assume that somebody that has your book that um, is going to be grading it is going to treat it the way you would. So write little notes like that just to let them know. Never assume, because if they mess it up, you're the one that suffers. And it's also got a little grease pencil thing that somebody wrote there. But again, for under $100 for that book, I'll take it all day and every day. And this is another book I definitely lucked out on. This is my second copy of this book. The other one I got came back, I think, like a 6.0. This is definitely a lot lower, but still, for the price I paid, I cannot complain. Uh, this is Tales of Suspense number 52, which is the first appearance of the Black Widow. Um, whether it happens or not still remains to be seen. Like I said, until something happens, there are no guarantees. Things can change. But they are saying that Black Widow is going to get a solo film. So she is still going to continue to be hot, this character. So if you can get this book, please get it. Absolutely love the color patterns with the purples, reds, and yellows in this book. Really sticks out. This is a lower grade. It does have tape along the spine. But you can even have 3.0s get tape and be actually up to 5.0s that have tape and they um, do find it acceptable. But absolutely a book to get if you can get it. Um, I don't know if I'll get this one graded. We'll have to see. I mean, I have so many books to be graded. It would take a while before I do. But the price I paid for this book was only $128.97. So to me, not a bad price for that book. All right. This next one. Number 32, this definitely has an interesting story to it. If you saw this a while ago, you'll understand. But this is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 9. This is a second copy of mine. This is another book that I had stolen as a kid. And let me tell you something. This book that I had was easily a 9.6, maybe a 9.8. That's how perfect it was. At the time, back in probably, I think, 1991, 1990, I bought it at a comic store. It was the most expensive comic, and I was so nervous when I bought it. I paid a total of $125 for what would have been a 9.6 to a 9.8 grade. I mean, it was perfect in every way. And even back then, that was a very expensive price to pay for that book, so I was actually pretty nervous. Um, I think anybody would pay that price even for a 2.0 at this point. But this is the first appearance of Electro. Great comic to have another one of spider-man's amazing villains beautiful cover this one's nostalgic for me because like i said i bought this book when i was a kid don't have that one anymore but i paid a total of zero dollars for this book um it ended up the person i forget the whole full details but the person person screwed me over on a certain part of it and we i actually made an ebay return and for some reason, they didn't accept it. And as a matter of fact, it was shipped back twice to them. And they actually refused it and sick their dogs on the person, uh, well, the mailman. So I called eBay and because I ended up getting it back. And I say, well, what do I do? I sent it back like I was supposed to. Sent it back twice. They actually refused it and sick the dog on people. So what do I do? And the people said, well, you made the attempt. They refused it. You get to keep it. So... Even though there was some kind of problem in this, I forget what it was, um, it ended up, I paid $0 for it. So this could come back a 0.5, can come back incomplete for $0. How do you go wrong? 
So, I mean, that's not the normal price on this book. That price of the book, even the lower grade, is probably going to cost you around 300 at this point. You probably can find some deals under 250 if you search, but always be patient. All right, next up, number 31 on the list. This is definitely a book I highly recommend. This is Eternals issue number one, and you'll notice the same thing as you saw if you watched the video the other day. This is not the regular um, edition. This is the 30-cent variant. Very expensive book. You never know. Look in your comic shops. You might find one that somebody may not be aware of, and you could catch a steal of a lifetime. Of course, I didn't do that, but still, for the price I paid, considering that they are going to be making Eternals movies, and they are going to be pretty... Um, relevant in the coming future i mean i guess that depends on with the x-men and the fantastic four but as of now there is going to be an eternals movie so we'll see this these books have been hot i paid a total of 310 dollars and 95 cents it does need a pressing the only major problem is there's a little tiny color break right there other than that everything looks pretty darn good so i think after a pressing this would probably get between an 8.0 to a 9.0 range and if it ever got higher than that, I would be ecstatic. Okay, number 30 is another high-grade book. I do have them, believe it or not. Very rare, because me, honestly, I'll take whatever whatever condition as long as I can afford it. And uh, to me, like I always say, low grade isn't better than no grade. But high grade, now this one's my grade. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 7. This is my second copy of this book. This is the second appearance of the Vulture. Um, I'll tell you something. I was when I heard back a couple of years ago when they were making the first Amazing Spider-Man movie, and they said they were going to use the Vulture. I was really worried about that because I mean, this is basically an old man in a winged suit, but they made him cool. They made him scary. They made him definitely enjoyable to watch, and definitely made this character a lot more popular. So I love what they did with the movie. Um, they made it more realistic, and I always wondered, how is this person going to be flapping his wings and fighting? And considering he's a fragile old man, Spider-Man could just flip him with his finger. You know, it's not like he has the superpowers of, you know, somebody like the Hulk. But, like I said, they made him cool. This is probably going to be in the 7.0 to 7.5 range. There are one or two little color breaks, but not many. Colors are absolutely beautiful. Um, eventually I will be getting this book graded and I spent a total of $510. That book for that price is a pretty good deal. All right. Number 29 on the list. We have, I have so many copies of this book. It's not even funny. I was telling people back in 2015, this is a book to get because the one good thing about that, um, Fox Fantastic Four movie is they butchered Fantastic Four so bad that prices dropped tremendously. And I knew those characters were not going to stay down. And that was the best time to buy them. And I was buying these books between $50 and $75 a piece. I probably have about five or six copies. Anytime I find a good deal, I will snatch it up. So I did with this one. This, of course, is the first full appearance of Galactus, the second appearance of Silver Surfer, and the first time they appear on a cover. This book has skyrocketed, and they have not even had a teaser trailer for the Fantastic Four, Galactus, or the Silver Surfer. I think one of the main reasons at this point that this book is getting so hot is there are rumors, and again, it's only rumors, so spoiler alert, that Galactus may be in Part 2 of the Infinity War. Now, obviously that's a rumor, so there are no guarantees that will happen, but even if it doesn't happen... It's just a matter of time before these characters end up in a Marvel movie. So, again, like the Hulk book, this book has so much potential. Grab one if you can. Even at a lower grade, you will double or triple your money if you're one of the people that wants to turn around and sell the books. So this one has a couple of color-breaking lines across it. It does have some spine ticks. So this is probably a 2.5 to 3.5 range. Again, the cover presents really well. So, I mean... Like I said, any grade right now is worth picking up. I paid a total of $69.99. So for that for that price, I mean, this book right now probably goes for about two or 300 in lower grade. So that's how much it's increased. But like I said, you ain't seen nothing yet with that book. All right, number 28, another Golden Age book. This came out in 1949. 
This is Archie's Pal Jughead, issue number one. Um, this is the first appearance of the character Moose. He's like the jock character in the Archie series. So definitely a significant Archie character. Um, I would love to get Archie's first appearance, but obviously you're talking thousands of dollars. So you take what you can get. But um, for, a, for a book that's roughly about 75 to 80 years old, somewhere in that range, the cover looks gorgeous. Now, it has a date stamp. I don't care about that. It does have a couple of breaks that um, break colors along the spine, but nothing major. There are a couple little breaks here, but the overall for a book from 1949, the colors are beautiful. And this is definitely a book I will be getting graded at one point. So there is some significance. Paid a total of $302 for that book. So I think that's pretty decent for that kind of book. All right. No, now, before we get to the next one, get your piece of paper because I'm going to mention part of the contest now. There will be maybe more. Who knows? But um, don't do this now, but write this down because in the uh, after the third video, that's when you're going to put all these comments. So do not leave this in the comment section here because you will be disqualified. But on the piece of paper, write down the following. When part three comes out, one of the things you're going to have to do is leave a comment on the other two videos. So in other words, video one and video two, once the third one's out, that says the words, hi, WLC. Or you could write, we love comics, but WLC is a lot faster. So again, do not write it in the comment section now. If you do, you will be disqualified. Write it down on the piece of paper. So when I talk about it on the third video, that is when you're going to place those in there. And I will be checking, so please make sure you do it. All right. So number 27 on the list. This is one, for some reason, I just luck out getting this book. I have three or four copies of this book, and I did not pay more than $100 for any of these. This is obviously Amazing Spider-Man number 50, which is the first appearance of the Kingpin. Uh, very beautiful, iconic John Romita cover. It's one of those less is more. Um, like I said, I have three or four copies of this book. You're going to pay even for lower grade between $150 and $300 for a low grade book. But for some reason, I find this book all the time. And it's a steal. I paid $50.25 for this book. There's another one I paid $22 for. And I think the other one was like 65 bucks. So, I mean, it's a low grade. It's definitely going to be a 2.0 to a 3.0 range. Because you can see it has some color breaks. But overall, again, the cover presents pretty decent for a lower grade. So, for that price, I cannot go and complain. So, look for deals. And there are always ones out there. You know, sometimes you got to pass up on books, but if you find one that's a deal, it makes it all worth it. So keep trying and don't give up. Don't get discouraged. All right, number 26. I won two of these, but I'm only going to show one. Just makes it easier. This is X-Men issue number 12, which is the first appearance of the Juggernaut. Um, if you've seen the second um, movie of Deadpool, you will know that he was the one of the villains in the movie. I think they did it pretty decent, and uh, hopefully he's not a one-and-done character. But then again, you know, like I said, since the X-Men are moving to the MCU, we may not have seen the last of them. So even without the movie, this is still a great villain to, to get their first appearance. Again, mid to lower grade, does have some color breaks. But again, as you could see, the pattern is my uh, as long as the cover looks good, which, of course, there are some exceptions, which you will actually see in this um, video. I paid a total of $161 for this book. So I think for that grade, not bad at all. All right, the next one, I did buy Raw, but I got it graded because I got this a couple of months ago. And, of course, I will tell the grade, but this is number 25. This is Aquaman issue number one. Uh, this was a book that um, was selling for $500, no best offer. I contacted the person and asked them if they would um, take 400 for it. And they said, you know what? Normally I'd say no, but you know what? You were nice enough and it's you know a slower time of the year for them to sell books. Why not? So I bought this book for $400. So I saved $100 off the bat by making the effort and asking for the deal. Like I said, there was no best offer. So this was a person that just had it as a buy it now for 500 
and I contacted the person. So hopefully that helps to inspire people to make deals because the worst they can say is no. So I sent this in a couple of months ago to get graded by PGX. It came back a 6.0 with off-white to white pages. Now, this is the first appearance of Quisp, but that had nothing to do with the movie, I don't believe. I don't think there was any Quisp character in the movie. But the movie did pretty darn well. They said it's closing in on making a billion dollars. And, you know, you can't judge it by the money because either. All right, so it's resetting because it only goes to 30 minutes, so I don't know how much you missed. But um, I paid, like I said, I paid a total, well, with shipping and handling because there was a $5 shipping. I paid a total of 405 so they had it $500 and then $5 shipping. I asked for the $100 discount, and they were kind enough to give it. And you can see the back looks pretty darn good. So considering how good the movie did to get this book at that price, all about timing. All right, the next one is the 24th on the list. This is another book I sent in and got graded. Uh, you're going to see a lot more graded books in the next video in the top 20 because a lot of those over the months I've sent in to get graded because there's some Definitely some key issues, and you'll see that when you watch either Sunday or Monday, so hopefully you'll stay tuned. Uh, this is another book that I got probably just in time. This is Fantastic Four, issue number three. This is the first appearance of the Miracle Man and the Fantastic Car, so the first time you ever see their car, and the first time they have their uniforms. So the first two issues, they were just basically wearing regular clothes. So this is the issue where they got their uniforms to where you see them to this day. Uh, definitely a book. It's going to be very expensive to get. But again, there's always a chance to get deals. Um, this was a Jack Kirby art. Love Jack Kirby's art. Him and John Romita made amazing Silver Age covers. And this is also a Stan Lee story. Unfortunately, I'll never get it signed, but that's okay. I can live with that. But um, I got this graded. Came back a low grade. I knew it when I bought it, but that's okay. It came back a 1.8 off white to white pages, which I'm still happy about because the price I paid for this book was a total of $179. So for under $200 for this book, when the Fantastic Four ends up in a Marvel movie, this book is going to skyrocket. So I, like I say, it doesn't matter what you spend on a book. It's what it's worth. So lower grade, you can actually make more money on lower grades because of the fact is you'll get a quicker turnaround, less money that you have to put out there to wait and sit and hope it'll develop, and more people are going to be able to afford a lower grade. I mean, a 9.8 would be great to have, but how many people can afford that? So it's going to be a little bit harder to sell those, but I don't buy them to sell them, but eventually I will. I've talked about that before. All right, next up, number 23 is another Golden Age book. Absolutely love getting my Golden Age books. If you saw the first video, you'll see I showed... Um, did I show that one? Um, I don't want to say anything. Oh, okay, I did show a Submariner book, but that was issue number one from the Silver Age. This is the Golden Age. This is Submariner issue number six. Um, what year is this from? This is from 1942. It's got an Alex Stromberg cover. And again, it's another book that I cannot believe that I actually own. Beautiful cover. To me, this is just iconic. Uh, love these old Golden Age books. If you get the chance, and I said this before and I'll say it again, if you get the chance to own a um, Golden Age book, whether it be Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, or on the Marvel side, which was Timely Comics, uh, Submariner, The Human Torch, Captain America especially, get them while you can. Uh, this book will eventually get graded. This is probably a 3.0 to a 4.0 range. It's very dirty, which means a dry cleaning could absolutely help this book. Again, for a book that's in the early 40s, it is such a beautiful cover. It, it looks pretty good. So whoever owned it definitely took care of it. And uh, I think for the price I paid, I'm very happy with this. I paid $495.95 for this book. So under $500 for issue number six. Like I said um, in previous videos, these I've seen Submariner comics in the like teens selling for two to 3000 in lower grade. So... Um, they they have said, Kevin Feige has said, they have plans for the Submariner. So once he ends up in a Marvel movie, that's going to just skyrocket. 
All right, before we get to the next part, comic, we're going to do the next part of the contest. Again, just write this down on a piece of paper. Do not put it in the comment section, because if you do, you will not qualify for the contest. So you're going to write down the following and find this. What grading company did I recently do a review on? So I did a video recently in the past week or so that I did a review of a grading company. If you want to know who that is, you're just going to have to look at one of my videos. shouldn't be too hard to find. But again, do not write it down until the third video when I tell people every single part to the contest. All right, so next up. We have this two left to go in this particular part, and I hope you hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And remember, watch until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. Today, you can do a little shout out for them in the comment section if you would like to, because they always appreciate that. But this is another book that I will get all day and every day, even in lower grade. This is my second copy of this book. It will get graded. The other one did get graded. This is Fantastic Four, issue number six. This is the second appearance of Doctor Doom, the second Silver Age appearance of Submariner, and the first ever Marvel villain team-up. So this is a very significant book. This book, even at a 0 0.5, is going for about two, roughly around $200. And again, when either one of these guys are in a movie in the MCU, forget it. This is going to be out of reach. So get this book if you can, especially if you can't afford issues number four and five, which is the first appearance of Submariner and the first appearance of Doctor Doom. Those books are getting out of touch. And four is something I have always wanted but haven't found a deal. So the hunt continues. But this book has a tape along the edge. It does have a missing piece right there. But again, overall, still presents well. This is probably, again, about a 2.0 to 2.5, maybe a 3.0 at best. But I only paid $120.49 for this book. Get that book if you can. All right. Last up for this section. This is one of those books that um, normally I like the cover to look beautiful. This one is missing a, about a third of the cover because somebody cut it out probably as a kid and posted it on their school books. But considering the price, um, I didn't want to pass it up. And um, I know some people said they would never get it, but to me it's it's okay. Uh, this is my second issue of this book. Even in, because this is a lower grade, I still pay it under what it's worth because a 0 0.5 of this book is worth probably about $750.00. This is probably a bottom of 1.0. But this, which is number 21 of this video, the Avengers issue number one. Now, it has a cutout here, and it has the, the heroes from here and around all cut out. So roughly about a third of the cover of the front is gone. The back is complete. The rest of the book is complete. The staples are attached. There are some color breaks. You could still see Loki and everything and the title. So, you know, is it the most attractive book? No. Do most people not want to get these kind of books? Probably not. But that meant I didn't have to worry about too many people outbidding me. It's another book that where I could say I have the first appearance of the Avengers. And again, I paid under a 0 0.5 value. So I paid a total of $523.99. Now, there are plenty of people that say, oh, I wouldn't buy it. But that's okay. I didn't buy it for them. I bought it for me. So the good thing about collecting comics is there are some people who will not get a low grade. There are some people who will not get DC. There, there are people who have to have a 9.8 or they won't get anything. There is no wrong way to collect. So the good thing is the more flexible you are, the better chances of getting a book that you want. Because if I pass this up, well, then I wouldn't have an Avengers number one. Well, like I said, this is my second copy. So to me, I don't mind it. I had the money. It was there. It was worth it for me. If it wasn't worth it for you, that's probably why it's not in your collection. So whatever you collect, it doesn't matter if people agree or like it or agree, you know, anything. If you like it and you're happy, that's all that matters. So that is the end of this part. Please wait until the end to see who's today's subscriber. Shout out again, part three will be the part where I'm going to give the last parts of the rules for the contest, and that's when you're going to, in the comment section, get every single part right, and the first person that does it will end up being the winner. And just in case, because a couple of people I saw spelled it wrong, 
Um, the one of the parts in part one is my cat Orgon. It's O R G O N E. So keep that in mind because remember you got to spell it right. So a couple of people that put it in the comment section when they weren't supposed to actually spelled it wrong. And if you're one of those people that didn't bother to go this far to see this, you write down that one wrong part. You're not a winner. So make sure you don't listen to what people put in the comment section. And it, remember, if you put it in the comment section, you're helping somebody else to potentially win. Make them work for it like you're going to work for it. So if you put the answers in there, you're just helping somebody else out. And if they end up watching the video before you and get the comment in five minutes before you do, well, you just help somebody else win. So keep that in mind. So if you like this video, thumbs up are always appreciated. If you want to share it, that's even better. If you want to hit subscribe, we'd love you to have a subscription with my channel. Because remember, if you want to enter the contest, you do have to be a subscriber. And you do have to like these videos. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. And it looks like today we're going to be zooming in on cardboard. What fun. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.